Hey everybody, time for the next Emacs video and um, today we're going to look at um, some of the good and some of the frustration with customizing Emacs. Um, the cool thing is what you can do and the information you can get, but that there are some, you know, some gaps. So basically um, I, I, I get a lot of news via RSS feeds and I use um, L feed and so here BJM L feed load DB and open the these are um, I found these online I forget where but if you, you can just search for them you'll find them and I'm pretty sure I linked them in my old L feed videos from way back um, the idea here is this saves and buries the um, um, the database consistently so when I can use L feed on multiple locations without a problem and L feed is really cool um, and you can use L feed by like like you can just be like let's see these earbuds and I can just hit enter and then I can see this and then I can um, you know I can go to the next one uh, I can quit from that if I hit G it updates uh, capital G pulls everything in but I usually don't like using L feed to read it here. I like to organize it here. I love the tags. I love all the features. Um, but I like reading in the web browser. Web browser. So um, these are the eight best cards for groceries. I have no idea what they're talking about here. Um, so I'll usually use the B to browse. Um, and that's going to put this up into my um, into my web browser and then I'll read it. So what I might do is I might do something like I'll be like a uh, you know, I want to look at this one, and then I have to come here and I want to look at this one. And then, but the problem is these, if you look at Wink and if you look at Lack, those are red. Um, and so now they're no longer red. Now I can still get to them by just doing a tag search. Um, but, um, but it becomes more awkward because a lot of the times what I'll do is, um, you know, just in my workflow, like these, you know, like um, some of these that I want to read, what I'll do is like, um, like uh, this one, movie popcorn, vanishing New York, Jeremiah's vanishing New York. Um, what I'll like about this what I'll do here is I want to read it in a browser, but I may not want to really fully read it now. So I end up hitting B, then I come back here, coming up and then unmarking it, you know, leaving it unread. Um, and then I'll come over here and I'll do this with a bunch of tabs. And I'll do this stupid dance where I'll be like, oh, and maybe you know, Gary's one here, boom, and then come here unread. Because if I don't, um, like if I go to this open source one, if I just do that and if I take my time, Eventually, that one's going to go away. Uh, that open source one is going to disappear at some point um, because it is now marked as red. And I don't remember exactly where or why or the timings. Or if I'll just do G to, to make it happen now. Um, so that's not a great workflow. Um, I, I find that to be problematic. Um, so we have to fix this. So the first thing I have to figure out is, um, well, gee, let's see what it's actually doing when I do con when I do the B option. So let's do what I first did is control H control H K and I can describe the key and B and the B key does L feed search browse URL and that's listed in here. And so this is the actual function that we're running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and um, copy this and kill this buffer immediately. And I'm just going to go to my L feed configuration. And I'll throw this in here for now. And we're going to call this MZ L feed dash browse dash URL. So it's the same function, I just renamed it. And I'm not even looking at it yet, but I'm going to execute this control X, control E. And now if I go to L feed, and if I do this like why Java streams instead of loops, and I do MZ L feed browse URL, it'll operate in the exact same way, marking it as red. So, so that's great. Um, so I was able to, and this is again, nice thing about Emacs, I was able to really easily find exactly what was running. So let's inspect, and I don't really know that much of Elis, but it looks like, um, it's, um, you know, okay, so we go through the selected entry, so I guess I could do this. I mean, actually, I've never actually done this. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, so if we're here, let's go to L feed search. Let's, if I do that and then I do B, does it, 
Yes, it's not opening all three of them, so I'm not sure what's... Oh, no, it did open all three of them. Um, so so it opened all three of them, so that's kind of cool. I never actually knew that. Let me just quit that for now. Um, so it's going to loop over, and this is using uh, CL loop. And then it's got these this do when. So it's, it seems to say here... Um, this is giving me a... Whatever, I'll just close those. It's the Firefox thing. Um, so it's going to like if... So like when L feed entry link is an entry then we will untag it. We'll take away the unread entry to make it read. And then this part does the actual generic URL thing. So I'm looking at this, and I don't know what it all does, but let's, I'll be like, well, let, let's try this easy. Let's, let's comment this out. And then it does this other stuff here, but that's fine. So now we're going to go to, to LFeed. And let's go with um, this open source one. And okay, variable is void, it. So that didn't work. So clearly this, this it is something. And I'm like, oh man, what's going on with this? I, you know, like, um, and um, I, I couldn't figure out what it actually, what, what this it referred to. So I'm like, well, um, you know, is it a, is it a global variable, control HV? Uh, no. Uh, is it a, it's not a function, but that's the function I'm in. Um, you know, I could, you know, um, browse URL generic just takes a, it just takes a, um, a URL. So that's got to be a URL. So then like, uh, um, do, okay, let's see. Uh, so now we're going into do. And so we have this and, you know, and, um, I'm not going to read this through now, but, um, you know, I also did the same for CL loop, but I didn't find it particularly helpful. But what I did find just by some stupid experimentation is, I think I did this, but if I didn't do this, it's okay. So then we'll go with um, build it and they will come. And that wasn't it. That didn't work. So what I ultimately ended up doing is replacing this it with L feed entry link entry. And I, you know, and then let's go back to L feed and now let's go back to this one. And notice that it did not mark this as red, and it did go to the right, uh, to the right place. So that actually worked pretty well. Um, and the thing about this that that was cool that I liked here, um, you know, is uh, it didn't take a lot of work. You didn't have to know everything. Now I do know that I could use, and I guess I could get rid of that. Let's test that. So notice I can just test this, and I'm just trying stuff, and it's a copy anyway. So so who cares? Um, so now let's do this again. MZL feed browse. Again, it doesn't mark it as red and it does what I want. Great. So um, I could use like a let form to pull the result of L feed entry link into something. Um, you know, maybe I could find um, what that it refers to. I wasn't able to find it. That was the deficiency. I was able to, like I, I did the control H F here and I went into the loop and I looked through this and I couldn't find it. Um, you know, and then I looked through the do thing and I couldn't find it. Um, so, so that's kind of, and let's just go into here and get the indentation back. Um, so basically, I, I couldn't figure that out, what that it was. Uh, so if anyone out there has that, and I'll clean this up later. But the last thing I want to do is I should be able to rebind the B key to be MZ... L feed browse, L feed browse URL. And this hopefully will work. And so now, um, if I go into here and if I type B, 
instead of running the browse URL that I'm used to, and I'm hitting G to refresh, now it's no longer marking it as red. So this is much more in tune with the way I like to work. So like I'll do, let's, oh, um, I want to look at this one. Um, I want to look at this one. I want to look at this one but it hasn't gotten rid of them yet. And then I can later on come in and use the R, and that's what I'll normally do, uh, to mark things as red. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is I would like to be able to, you know, when I browse the URL, um, spawn off the browse URL. Let's see if we can um, look at the browse URL function. I don't think it has anything in here. Um, Additional args are passed to the browser function, so that doesn't really help. Um, you know, so I don't know if I can actually keep the focus, but still, this makes it a lot closer to the workflow that I like. Um, what I might end up doing is I might end up saying like, um, like I like that default browse to unmark it, but maybe, you know, I'll make another one. And what is that? Um, L feed search browse URL, L feed search browse URL. Run that. And now what we can do is if I use, let's see, B, and that doesn't mark it, but for this open source one, if I use capital B, is it not? Uh, and then the capital B in that one works appropriately. Um, so again, I, I'm not really, you know, I'm, I'm not strong on my e-list and I haven't used uh, this loop macro like in God knows how long. I don't think I've ever used it in e-list um, and I don't remember anything about it from my list days, this, this loop thing here, common list, loop, or whatever. Um, but it shows that you don't have to know that much. You can just dig into the source, copy it over, change the name, um, and you're good to go. All right, so so that's it for today, and um, yeah, I hope uh, hope you found this helpful and useful and interesting.